Hi, Yarn of Bees. It's Sandy. How are you doing today? Oh, I am tired. <laughs> 3.30 last night, went to bed. I don't know what's going on, if I'm getting insomnia or I don't know what's happening. Um, I stopped taking my metformin because it was making me sick. Um, I was just feeling nauseous every day and I had headaches and um, that was even after being on it for a month and a half. And I just went, you know what? Mm -mm. I can't do this, you know, being like feeling nauseous all the time. I just, ugh, no. So I don't know. Maybe that's part of it coming down off the metformin. <laughs> Who knows? Um, I have a few things to talk to you about. Not a lot, but a few things. Um, can we talk about the elephant in the room? for a second. Bernie Sanders. What in the world? Has the whole world gone mad? Everywhere I'm seeing his mittens and I'm seeing memes and I'm, it's like, I don't know, like you put a pair of mittens on a man and the whole world goes nuts. Like seriously, everywhere I look, like, and the patterns for the little mini Bernies and the mittens came out like the next day. I couldn't believe it. Like, there's some fast knitters and fast thinkers out there. Holy cow. Um, but yeah, like, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. And I'm just, oh, I, I just can't even believe it. The memes aren't even just in the crochet and knit world. They're everywhere. Like George, he um, follows MMA fighting and UFC fighting. And they've got memes there where Bernie's got his hands over top of a guy and he's choking him out, right? And I'm just like, seriously? Like, what, what is happening to the world? <laughs> Are we that desperate for, you know, some some resemblance of normalcy that we had to come up with that <laughs> like i don't know <laughs> so anyways um you're gonna hear life noises because george's home he's watching football it's football sunday yay hmm. <laughs> um yeah <clears throat> so i'm gonna start with some uh, whips today so i can get them off my mm. <sighs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> that kind of snuck up on me. Uh, just so I can get them off my table. <clears throat> I don't do amigurumi. At all. I, do, I, I don't do it. I'm, I don't enjoy it. Don't understand it. Don't, you know, it's just not me. <clears throat> um, I applaud the people that do amigurumi. I applaud the people that make the patterns for amigurumi. OMG just to the max. Oh. <clears throat> I bought Crystal from Chronically Crocheting's Mr. Purs a lot. I keep calling it Sir Purs a lot. It's not Sir Purs a lot. It's Mr. Purs a lot. <laughs> and I I bought it because I absolutely loved the way it looked. And it it didn't look very hard. Um, and you know, the ones that Crystal made were so adorable. So I said, I told her, I says, you put out the pattern, I will buy it and I will make it. She says, you don't do, do amigurumi. I says, but I'm going to do yours. And so she was pretty happy about that. Um, so yeah, I bought it and I started it and <clears throat> I think I talked about this in my other video how I, I, I struggled. I struggled and it wasn't her pattern. It was not her pattern at all. I'm just not used to reading crochet patterns anymore. I've chinsed out. I, I sold out. I, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I started watching video tutorials and I started making video tutorials instead of writing my patterns. So I've kind of lost the lingo and so when I was reading her pattern, I was like, huh? <laughs> and I was going, 
okay, let's think about this logically. <laughs> and so I, I went through it and I was going, okay, I understand this, 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 and this. This line, I have no idea what it means at all. I sent her an email saying, I don't understand this line. It doesn't add up. Like you're supposed to have 60 stitches. I've got 150 stitches. Like I, I, don't, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I says, I don't understand these brackets and the, and I was just, you know, help. <laughs> so while I was waiting for he, her email, I went back and I was looking at it and I was really picking it apart and going, okay, let's think about it in math terms, right? So if we're doing algebra and it's like blah, blah times blah, blah, and brackets, blah, blah, blah. Well, you do the brackets first and blah, blah, blah. And I started going through this whole weird ass thing. Like, I don't know, I went down this weird rabbit hole, <laughs> but it worked the way I figured it out and the way that I, I add, added things together, it came out to 60 stitches and I was like, bing, I got it. <laughs> so I sent her another email saying, never mind, I'm an idiot. <laughs> so, so I figured it out, but it stressed me out. So, oh, sorry guys. Whew, yikes, I need more coffee. So what I did was like, she says in the, in the tutorial stuff as you go, right? Um, of course I didn't listen. Right. <clears throat> so, um, I ordered the eyes, the 30 millimeter eyes on Amazon and I got some really cool eyes coming. So, uh, what I did was while I, I, I went as far as I could possibly go with this. And then now I have to wait for the eyes to come so I can add those. But here's, <laughs> I know it looks all wonky. <laughs> Here is the body part. So I'm, I counted the, them out and th then the eyes are going to go here. I hope, I, I hope that's the way it goes. So I stuffed it as far as I could, but I, I heard somebody say that if you put it in a stocking, um, and stuff the stocking and then put the stocking in the amigurumi. It makes it more uniformed and the stuffing doesn't come out and everything. I tried that. No, it does not work for me. <laughs> the stocking's not big enough, right? So, um, so I started stuffing this and I used a chopstick to really push it into the edges and stuff to try and get it as uniformed as I can. Uh, and then I'm going to put the eyes in, then I'm going to stuff the rest of it and then continue on. <clears throat> so I went ahead whoop, and I did the nose, but I haven't put the pink thing on the nose yet. And then I did the ears <laughs> and I did the tail. <laughs> now I started crocheting the tail and I mean, this is like really intricate, like it's easy, but man, it's hard on the wrists for me anyway, because I'm used to using a big hook, big yarn. So this was like tedious for me, but um, I had to keep my finger in it and then crochet around <laughs> just to keep the opening open. Right. And I started going and I was like, oh, I was supposed to stuff it as I went. <laughs> So I had this big, long, floppy tube. So I, th I thought of the chopsticks. So I got the chopstick and I started... <laughs> like, like, and I was trying to get it in and it was getting all bulbous. And <laughs> it was just, it was awful. <laughs> I'm sitting here trying to roll it out and trying to get the stuffing to do what it's supposed to do. And it was, oh, it was a disaster. <laughs> and even now you can see the whole, some of the... Oh, Maybe you can't, I don't know, but you can see some of the stuffing and oh, it is what it is. Like, can you see like the holes with the stuffing? So I don't know. It is what it is. I'll just put that part up against the cat or something. So you look at this. It's like stuffing holes. <laughs> Disaster. So anyway, I got it stuffed. 
I, I think I did it long enough. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. <clears throat> and uh, so now I'm just waiting. But uh, I, I bought some eyes for another project. Uh, but I looked at them and I thought, no, those aren't going to be big enough. So, yeah. So I'm just waiting and then I'm going to finish Mr. Perzalot. So I'm going to leave that link down below. Go check it out and go buy her pattern. Because I think this pattern's a hit. I mean, I went on her Etsy page and I looked at her sale, like how many sales she's done. She's got like 40 sales just boom done i was like holy cow like people were just on it and i was like yes go crystal so congratulations crystal that was a hit you know and uh i i really hope that you continue to sell that pattern and get yourself a, a good income on that because man it's an awesome awesome project it's i as soon as she made it i was just like oh i wonder if she'll make me one and then she said that she's coming out with a pattern. I was like, yay. Oh, do I? Ooh, yes, I will. <laughs> I went through all the emotions. <laughs> I was just like, maybe I could just pay somebody to do it for me. <laughs> but no, I am going outside my comfort zone and I'm doing it. So, yes. Oops, don't forget a hook. There we go. Uh, speaking of going outside my comfort zone, I get a message from my sister yesterday. I bought her a sweater from Walmart that is a turtleneck sweater. Big, oversized, fluffy, you know, the cowl that hangs kind of thing, uh, kind of sweater. She says she absolutely loves it and she wants more. Well, if anybody, if you guys know Walmart, Walmart doesn't keep anything in their, their store for very long. Once it's gone, it's gone. So I thought, well, I says, I, I can't get any more until maybe next year. So I thought, well, what if I tried to make her a turtleneck? I have never made a turtleneck before. Um, so I looked at some patterns and everything and I was like, mm, yeah, not really liking that. And um, so I thought, well, how would I make my own? <laughs> Famous last words. Um, because I started doing this one pattern and it made this big long strip and then you got to make the front panel and the back panel, sew it together. Blah, 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 blah. I hate making two of anything. So I hate doing front panel, back panel. So wine, wine, wine. <laughs> Uh, so I thought, well, what if I did the same concept, just doubled, joined it together so it's a circle, and then started up? Seemed like an easy concept, right? <laughs> the stitch I'm using is the herringbone stitch. I have, I've never done the herringbone stitch. It's this weird half double crochet thing. Um, and it's taking me forever, forever, because it's no, it's like doing a single crochet. I was just like, this is not getting any taller. So, but I'm going to persevere. And then I, as I'm doing it, I'm thinking, oh, wait a minute. I got to make armholes. How do I do that going from the bottom up? And then I started thinking about it and thought, okay, well, if I, skip a couple stitches in here and then just keep going and then I'll just I'll do the the top here and the back I'll do that as a front panel back panel thing and then I'll just join it here and Bob's your uncle so that's kind of what I'm doing but <sighs> I'm not going in the round I started doing just the you know join go around join go around join so I'm getting that vault that goes up. So I'm thinking, oh, okay, well, I'll put that on the side, right? I'm not happy with it, but if it doesn't turn out well, then I'll keep it for myself. So here's where, oh, 
here's what it looks like see forever <laughs> so I'm doing the herringbone stitch in here and then I'm doing the crisscross double crochet uh, or the cross double crochet in here uh, with the purple so <clears throat> um, it looks really big but I think it's going to be okay because it's it's like an extra extra large 2x I guess it is um, I'm at the point I think where I can start doing my armholes so I put the um, stitch markers here and now I'm going to start doing the front panel and the back panel. I really hope this works out because this is a lot of work to do um, with this stitch but you can see this is where the the join is all the way up and it's going blah, 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 blah. I'm hoping that once it's washed <laughs> that's going to disappear but I've tried to do it so that um, the line was somewhat straight. Can you see that? Yeah. So, yeah. So I'm hoping it's going to turn out. I don't know. I've never done a sweater like this before. I'm so used to doing the um, hexagon sweater or a sweater like this. Because this sweater is one piece. I didn't do the back panel and then the two front panels, right? I did the back panel and then had the um, missing stitches in the middle and kept going to do the um, these panels. So, yeah. So I'm really hoping this is going to turn out. Once I get it done, I'll let you no and i'll show it to you pray for me because <laughs> i i'm not sure i'm not sure what i'm doing uh okay so i i was making something that i was thinking i was making for a youtuber and then i ended up giving it to my housekeeper <sighs> so but i needed eyes and so i went on amazon and I got these eyes and they're all different colors but what really um, what really made these really cool is these aren't your typical eyes like you get your you know like this piece your eye piece right but they're all clear and they came with Oops, come on. Oh, the cat's in here. They came with these. And you put this in behind the eye. Oops, I've got two here. Hang on. You put this behind the eye. And all of a sudden, you have... A colored eye. Isn't that cool? Oops, excuse my nails. I gotta get my nails done. Isn't that neat? So they came in, gosh, about 10 colors, which is really cool. And they're all um, sparkly. So that really was interesting to me. I'll try and leave the link down below. I'll leave the link down below for Canadians and then I'll try to find it on the amazon.com and, uh, and then I'll leave that link for the Americans. <clears throat> okay. Oh, sorry guys. Stupid phone. Uh, so yeah, so it came in a big bag like this and it, a whole bunch of different colors. So I thought that was really cool because that makes the eyes not so plain and whatever. The eyes that I have coming from Mr. Perzalot is, excuse me, the same kind of concept, <laughs> excuse me, except they're more cat eye. 
uh, and they are metallic-y kind of looking. They're really neat. So I can't wait to get them. I think I'm getting them on Tuesday. So uh, something else that I got on Amazon was um, some brooches. And I, you know, the, uh, what am I trying to say? Triangle shawl thing that I was making with the, um, the sideways cowl right um that i'm working on <clears throat> i had a thought for the triangle piece uh that comes it comes down like this and then it goes up so it's like a piece of pie that kind of comes up right <clears throat> uh i was thinking what if oh, get it out here what if you put a pin there like a, a brooch there i think that would look really pretty so I ordered some brooches. Oh gosh, am I gonna have to take these all out? Hang on, I'm gonna take these out of the bags. Okay, sounds like Georgia's football game is not going very well. It's one of those days. <laughs> okay, so here's the butterfly. So these are all rhinestone. Oh, I can see the sparklies. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. So, yes, it is. <laughs> and here's a dragonfly. Isn't that nice? This, I just love these. Here's the owl. Oh, I love the owl. Whoops. Come on. I love the owl. She's so pretty. And of course, there's a bumblebee. So pretty. There's a peacock. That's nice. And then this just, oh, so beautiful. It's a hummingbird. We get lots of hummingbirds here. I just love that. So I got those. And uh, so if I'm, you know, making these or I'm thinking even if I'm making like the um, shawl, right? And you fold it up and put a pin there, right? So yeah, I have started collecting those brooches and hoping that that's all going to work out. Okay. Now, oh, I have a hangnail. All right. Now... I, uh, I'm not going to do a yarny, a yarn fairy for this because it's not a lot. And, um, yeah, it would be like a five minute video for that. So I'm just going to do it on here, but I am so excited. Now this has been around for quite a while, but I didn't jump on the bandwagon because it was so expensive. Um, but I was, I really, 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 really wanted to try it. Uh, it's the Mandela Ombre. Okay, I know so many people over the last year have talked about this. And you know what? I've been drooling all over the whole thing, right? But I just, I could not fathom spending that kind of money on one ball of yarn and the fact of the matter is it's a it's a four weight but it looks more like a, a head like like a, a light light four um and it's so i i don't work with yarn like that right um but i will if i put two together right? Two strands together. Um, and I might even work with this because <laughs> I, when I did this one project for well, my housekeeper, um, guys, I used a size 3.75 millimeter hook. <gasps> 
Are you kidding me? I don't do that. That is so unheard of for me. I was panicking the whole time I was using it. I didn't even know how to hold the thing. I was just like, ha, ah, ah, ha, ha, this is just scary. And you know what? I did it. I did it. And I, I did it well. <laughs> I wish I could show it to you. Um, I'll see if I can get her to send me a picture. I didn't take a picture of it. I was so proud of it and I didn't take a picture of it. So I'll see if I can get her to send me a picture. But I did it. I used a small hook and that kind of made me go, hmm, if I can do that, then I can do projects that use four millimeter hooks and stuff. The, the one of the biggest reasons why I don't do a small hook and small yarn is because I hate, 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 hate the fact that it takes so long to do a project. To do a, a shawl like um, Tracy from Loop, I love Loopy's, oh, yeah, bleh, bleh, bleh. I love Loopy's treasures, crochet and treasures. Oh, wow. That took a long time to get out. <laughs> Sorry, Tracy. <laughs> um, to make her beautiful shawls, they're gorgeous. And I would, I would love to be able to do that but it would take me a year I'm all about the quick easy patterns they get the project out instant satisf 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 satisfaction <laughs> yeah <laughs> I want to be easily satisfied <laughs> oh my god um I <laughs> Oh, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> I just totally lost control there. I just couldn't stop laughing and I was crying and I, oh, that was terrible. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, had a moment. <laughs> I obviously I'm overtired and don't have enough caffeine or something, but <laughs> oh, I think I just cried off my mascara. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's try that again. <sighs> ah, <clears throat> moving on. <laughs> um, so this ombre, <laughs> Mandela ombre. I've been wanting to try for a while. So you know what? I'm going to do it. I, um, I'm going to try and find a pattern where I can make something beautiful and use a smaller hook. And maybe this is going to be the year of coming out of my comfort zone or get, you know, moving, moving out and, and trying new things and not being afraid of it. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? I just fall on my face and feel embarrassed and get depressed and you know oh going down that rabbit hole okay <laughs> um so let's talk about this beautiful yarn like oh, look at that oh that i mm, let's just ruffle in that for a second that is so scrumptious and of course you guys have seen these before but i have never held one <laughs> Um, I thought the skeins were going to be bigger. I thought they were going to be more like a Karen cake, but oh, stupid phone. I thought they were going to be a Karen cake size, but they're not. That's another reason why I haven't gotten them. Um, I thought that for the amount of money that Canadians would have to spend on this, it just wasn't worth it. But these were on sale, you guys. I got them on her uh, from Hirschner's. Oh. Uh, I got them from Hirschner's and they were $5.99 each. Um, so maybe that's not on sale, but I'm used to seeing them for like $10, $12. So for me, that was a sale price. So I got them. I got oh, four of them. And then I got 
this one. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Like, look at that. Uh, look at the purple in there. Like, really? Oh, like, I just, I, mm hmm Yep. Ah, had to have it. So I got four of those. And then I got a color that I'm not, I, I don't normally get because I'm not a green person. So I got these. Now the reason is I love spearmint. Anything spearmint. I'm not talking about the color. I'm talking about the taste. Spearmint gum, um, spearmint toothpaste, uh, like I love spearmint. It brings back some really good um, childhood memories for me. Oh, you guys, I'm so sorry. Um, they, they bring back a lot of childhood memories for me, right, about my grandma. So um, the color just absolutely send me, sends, sends me to a place that is a good place. Look at that. It's like a stone wash. And I got four of these. Now, should I read the stats? You guys know all about this. It's been around for quite a while, but I'll do it anyway. Oh, I can't read that one. Uh, okay, so it's 344 yards, 315 meters. Now that's not a bad size but don't forget it's a thin small yarn that's why it's a medium four 100 percent acrylic machine washable and dryable that's always a good thing and it asks for a 5.5 millimeter hook now i think if i used a 5.5 millimeter hook on this it was it would get really holy like it would look really like like lots of holes in it so i don't know but I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. I'm so happy. <laughs> so pretty. I mean, the minute these things came out, I was just drooling over them. But uh, I just wasn't going to spend $20 or uh, 10, 10 or $12 for a skein of yarn. Like that to me was astronomical. So, oh, you guys. Okay. My Facebook is going bananas. I put up a, um, a question on my Facebook page and everybody's answering the questions. So go check out my Facebook page <laughs> and go check out my Etsy page. Uh, the link is down below. I've got stitch markers down there. I am going to, I'm thinking I'm going to start putting um, like my triangle cowls and stuff like that. I'm, I'm going to start putting them on my Etsy page little stuff that's not going to cost me a massive fortune to ship I'm going to start putting on my Etsy page so yeah speaking of Etsy um Charlene has made a whole bunch of more but a whole bunch more baskets uh so I have to get on that and I have to get those ta the tassels put on them and get them up in the Etsy shop she's also making little bags like um, drawstring bags that are so cute. So when she starts getting those in, uh, I'm going to start putting them in like packs of three or whatever. And, um, yeah, so, um, yeah, now I'll get, that's going to be on the Kawing Creations, uh, website or Etsy page, which I'll link down below as well. Okay, guys, I think that's it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's one of those days. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to go. I'll talk to you later. I love you all. <laughs> Bye.